Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Sega Saturn games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick, and easy tutorial. On screen right now, you can see me playing some Magic Knight. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Play Store, and we're going to be downloading and installing two applications that we're going to be using for playing this emulator. The first thing we're going to be getting is the emulator itself. So what you want to do is search Sega Saturn, and we're going to be installing UO Yaboos, which is similar to the actual desktop variant, but it's just for Android. Second thing we're going to be downloading is Z Archiver, and this is going to be for extracting games to use in the actual emulator. Get both of these installed. So once you have your boost installed, we're ready to open it up and we're going to change some settings. Once you first open up the app, it's going to ask for permission to allow access to your phone storage. Allow that because you're going to need to use that later. We're ready to go into some settings. I'm going to show you some different things to set up. First thing you want to do is choose your cartridge and choose 32 megabit backup ROM. And basically what you want to change is everything else I have on screen. Keep everything as I have it here. Otherwise, you may have some difficulties with your settings and trying to get games to run and load. So once you have all your settings selected, we're ready to start extracting our games. I'm not going to be showing you in today's video or to download games a quick google search will help you out on that but currently my game is in my download folder so what you want to do is open up z archiver and locate to where your games are as you can tell mine is magic .rar. what you want to do is select the game with z archiver and you're going to select extract dot 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 from here we're going to be clicking the button on the top and we're going to be going out to our device memory to locate to where our Yaboos folder is installed so currently mine is in my device memory and if i go down here to the bottom it's in Yaboos. we're going to locate to the games directory in here and we're ready to click the green arrow on the bottom right to dump our files in here from the extracted folder as you can tell mine is already in here and in particular you're looking for dot bin files other files can come in dot mds and dot mdf these can sometimes give issues to play in Yaboos. so you're looking for particular dot bin files if your file comes in a dot mdf and doesn't work try downloading it from a different website to get a dot bin instead and that's the best advice i can offer you some games will give difficulty with this but that's just a little bit of trial and error to see what works with you i've had some difficulties with some games but magic knight actually worked pretty well for me so now we're finally ready to start playing our games. All of our steps are complete. We're ready to reopen your boost. And when you first open it, once a new game is placed in, it should start updating your folder directory automatically. But if it doesn't, what you want to do is come to the preferences list and simply click refresh game list. And your game should refresh from what's in your games folder. Right now, I'm going to open up Magic Knight and you can see that it actually works. Here's the little intro scene. Now, I would say I would recommend getting an actual Bluetooth controller or some sort of controller that's compatible with your Android device because the actual on-screen controller is pretty bad the controls are really mushed together and are not very comfortable or actually user friendly to use when i was testing i did use them just to see if they work they do but i would still recommend a bluetooth controller if you have one available to you it's absolutely the best way of playing this simulator anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like if you have any difficulties let me know in the comments down below or if you want to request any videos let me know also i'm going to leave two videos on screen the one on the left is going to be my most recent upload and the one on the right is going to be one that youtube most suggests that you will watch so you should probably check it out because it's apparently for you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.